10 World's Most Powerful People in 2021 To become powerful, you must have immense influence among the people. Forbes published a list of the prominent individuals in the world in 2021, the list has all types of characters from those who own business empires. Also, the politicians who actions have had significant impacts. Number 10, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Elliott Zuckerberg was born in 1984 and is an internet entrepreneur and a computer programmer. He was born in New York and is known as the Facebook co-founder and he currently operates as its CEO and chairman. As of May 2021, Mark's net worth was estimated to $63.3 billion and was ranked by Forbes as the fifth richest person worldwide from an early age. Zuckerberg has shown an interest in creating games and working with computers, and this saw him creating several social media platforms. That would eventually lead to his biggest breakthrough, Facebook. Number 9, Narendra Modi. Born in 1950, Gujarat, India, Modi is the current Prime Minister of India. He assumed the position as Prime Minister in 2014, Modi is the leader of Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP. He also served as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. In 2014, his party BJP clinched the majority in Lok Sabha. That was the first time since the general elections in 1984. During his two years as Prime Minister, Modi has proven to perform well. His administration has planned started projects to reform and modernize India's infrastructure, he has also made efforts to reduce red tape in the government operations. Also, Modi has brought changes in the health and sanitation. Number 8, David Cameron. David Cameron has served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom for six years since 2010. He was born in 1966 in London, England, UK, after serving for six years, he resigned as Prime Minister in July 2021 after the UK voted to leave EU. Theresa May succeeded him. He has served as the leader of the Conservative Party since 2005, until he quit politics, Cameron has been a proponent of liberal policies, both economic and social. He attended Eton and Brasenose College, Oxford. Between 1988 and 1993, Cameron worked at the Conservative Research Department. He later left politics in 1994 to work for Carlton Communications. David became an MP in 2001 and served in the opposition shadow cabinet under Michael Howard in 2005 he succeeded Howard. Number 7, Larry Page. Born in 1973. Larry Page is the CEO of Alphabet Incorporated, Google's parent company. He was born in California, US. He is a computer scientist and an internet entrepreneur. Page is a self-made billion with his net worth being $38.8 billion. He attended the University of Michigan. From there, she graduated with a degree in computer engineering. He is also a holder of a master's in computer science from Stanford University. Larry Page together with Sergey Brin founded Google Inc. in 1998. In 2001, he stepped aside as CEO for Eric Schmidt, but resumed as CEO in 2011. Number 6, Bill Gates. Bill Gates, a self-made billionaire, was born in 1955 in Seattle, Washington, US. He is a business magnate, philanthropist, an investor, programmer, and an entrepreneur. In 1975, he co-founded Microsoft together with Paul Allen. Microsoft OS later became the largest PC software in the world. Gates has served as chairman, CEO, and as chief software architect at Microsoft. Until 2014, he was the individual primary shareholder of the company. Gates has featured in the Forbes list of the wealthiest people in the world since 1987. Bill is currently the richest person in the world with a net worth of $78.3 billion. He has appeared first several times, but he has faced criticism over his business tactics considered anti-competitive. Number 5, Xi Jinping. Born in 1953, Beijing, China, Jinping is the incumbent president of China. He is also the general secretary of the Communist Party of China. He also chairs the Central Military Commission. 
She is an ex officio member of the Politburo Standing Committee. The committee is a top decision-making body in China. She also chairs the newly formed National Security Commission. He is also the chair of other steering committees on economic and social reforms. Further, he is the chair in commissions for military reforms and the Internet. From 1999 to 2002, she served as governor of Fujian. Between 2002 and 2007, he served both as the party committee secretary. Number 4. Pope Francis. He was born in 1936 in Argentina, but his parents named him Jorge Mario Bergoglio, his is the current Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. He became the 266th Pope in 2013 and the first from America. Pope Francis replaced Pope Benedict XVI after his resignation as Pope. Pope is the Bishop of Roman and the Sovereign of the Vatican City. From 1973 to 79, he served as Provincial Superior of the Society of Jesus in Argentina. Number 3, Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel ranked position 2 on Forbes, she is the most dominant woman in the world of 2021. Angela was born in 1954. She is the sitting chancellor of Germany a position she has held since 2005. Merkel has been the leader of the Christian Democratic Union CDU. Since 2000, she earned a doctorate in physical chemistry. During the revolutions of 1989, Merkel entered politics. She was also the deputy spokesperson for the East German government in 1990. In 1991, Merkel got elected as Minister for Women and Youth. Number 2, Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump, a self-proclaimed real estate mogul and the 45th president of the United States was born in 1946 in Queens, New York. He was born into one of the wealthiest families at the time and he began working with his dad in the real estate business from an early age. He learned so much about the real estate world from his father and he later joined the Manhattan real estate world from where he expanded his investments throughout the world. Trump is actually the first in U.S. history billionaire president. Number 1, Vladimir Putin. This is the man who does what he wants and gets away with impunity. He was ranked first by Forbes. Aged 63, Vladimir Putin is incumbent president of Russian Federation. Putin has been president since 2012, before then he was the prime minister between 1999 and 2000. He later became prime minister again from 2008 to 2012. He was the chair of the ruling party, united Russia as prime minister from 2008 to 2012. Between 1970 and 1975, Putin attended St. Petersburg State University where he studied law.